Have you ever wondered what the weather is like on other planets? Today, let's explore some of the extreme weather conditions on the other planets, as well as the dwarf planets in our solar system. Thank you for watching and enjoy. Let's start with Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. During the day, temperatures can soar to a scorching 427 degrees Celsius or 801 degrees Fahrenheit. But at night, without an atmosphere to retain heat, temperatures plummet to a freezing minus 173 degrees Celsius or minus 279 degrees Fahrenheit. This means Mercury has the largest temperature swings of all the planets in our solar system. Mercury has no significant atmosphere, meaning it doesn't experience clouds, storms, rain, or winds. This is also why its surface still shows ancient impact craters, as there is nothing to protect the surface from incoming objects, and no wind or rain to erode and hide its craters. Next up, let's head to Venus, the hottest planet in our solar system. With an average temperature of 464 degrees Celsius, or 867 degrees Fahrenheit, it's hotter than Mercury, which is closer to the Sun than Venus. Venus's thick atmosphere, composed mainly of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid clouds, creates a runaway greenhouse effect. The atmospheric pressure here is 90 times higher than Earth's, making it a truly inhospitable place. There is also rain on Venus, but it is made of extremely corrosive sulfuric acid, which evaporates before reaching the surface due to the extreme heat. The winds on Venus can reach up to 360 kilometers per hour, or 224 miles per hour at the cloud tops, making its weather scorching, acidic, and turbulent. Moving on to Mars, the red planet. Mars experiences some of the most intense dust storms in the solar system. These storms can cover the entire planet and last for months at a time. Daytime temperatures can reach up to 21 degrees Celsius, or 70 degrees Fahrenheit, but at night, they can drop to a freezing minus 153 degrees Celsius, or minus 225 degrees Fahrenheit. Mars's thin atmosphere can't retain much heat, leading to these drastic temperature changes. Mars also has thin clouds, but instead of liquid water, they are made of water ice and CO2 ice. Next, we have Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. This mighty world also happens to be a stormy giant. Its most famous feature, the Great Red Spot, is a colossal storm larger than Earth. The storm has been raging for over 150 years and features wind speeds of up to 432 kilometers per hour, or 268 miles per hour. Jupiter's atmosphere is not only filled with violent winds, but also intense lightning. The planet's fast rotation, taking just 10 hours to complete a day, contributes to powerful jet streams, its distinct swirls, and dynamic weather patterns. Being a gas giant, there is no solid surface on Jupiter, but the average temperature of this swirling gas giant is a frigid minus 110 degrees Celsius, or minus 166 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we reach Saturn, known for its stunning rings. This gas giant also has some extreme weather. Saturn's atmosphere experiences massive storms and lightning, similar to Jupiter. The huge planet's rapid rotation also creates strong winds, reaching speeds up to 1,800 km per hour, or 1,118 miles per hour. Saturn's polar regions feature mysterious hexagonal cloud patterns. This strange stormy region is larger than planet Earth. Saturn's violent atmosphere can also produce hurricane-like megastorms that are larger than Earth. The average temperature of this swirling giant is minus 178 degrees Celsius or minus 288 degrees Fahrenheit. Uranus and Neptune, the ice giants, have some of the most extreme weather in the solar system. Neptune boasts the fastest winds, reaching at least 2,000 km per hour, or 1,243 miles per hour, or more. 
These planets experience supersonic methane winds and possibly even diamond rain due to the intense heat and pressure in their gas layers. Uranus, which rotates on its side, has extreme seasonal variations, with each pole getting 42 years of continuous sunlight, followed by 42 years of darkness. The average temperature of Uranus is minus 195 degrees Celsius, or minus 319 degrees Fahrenheit. And the average temperature on Neptune is minus 200 degrees Celsius, or minus 328 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's turn our attention to the five official dwarf planets in our solar system. First we have Ceres. Located in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, Ceres is unique because it has water ice on its surface, and possibly even subsurface pockets of liquid water. The average temperature on Ceres is about minus 105 degrees Celsius, or minus 157 degrees Fahrenheit. Although it doesn't have an atmosphere like the larger planets, it does experience cryovolcanism, where water, ammonia, or methane erupt from its surface instead of molten rock. Next is Pluto, once considered the ninth planet of our solar system. Pluto is located in the Kuiper Belt and has a thin atmosphere composed mostly of nitrogen with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. Its average surface temperature is about minus 232 degrees Celsius or minus 386 degrees Fahrenheit. Pluto experiences extreme seasonal changes during its long orbit around the Sun, causing its atmosphere to expand and contract significantly. Haumea, another dwarf planet in the Kuiper Belt, is known for its elongated shape, rings, and rapid rotation, but has a surface covered with crystalline water ice. The average temperature on Haumea is approximately minus 241 degrees Celsius, or minus 402 degrees Fahrenheit, making it one of the coldest objects in the solar system. Makemake, also in the Kuiper Belt, is slightly smaller than Pluto, it has a very thin atmosphere, likely composed of nitrogen, methane, and ethane. Makemake's surface is covered with methane ice, and its average temperature is around minus 243 degrees Celsius, or minus 405 degrees Fahrenheit. Lastly, we have Eris, the most massive known dwarf planet in the solar system, also located in the Kuiper Belt. Eris has a highly reflective surface due to a layer of nitrogen with traces of methane ice. The average surface temperature on Eris is estimated to be about minus 231 degrees Celsius, or minus 384 degrees Fahrenheit. Eris's orbit is highly elliptical, taking it far beyond Pluto at its furthest point from the Sun. From the scorching heat of Venus to the icy realms of the dwarf planets, the weather on other celestial bodies in our solar system is truly mind-blowing. Personally, it serves as a reminder of how lucky I am to be alive, protected by our planet, floating in the chaos of space, here with all of you. Thank you so much for joining me on this cosmic adventure. I'm glad to have you here. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to show your support with a like, or by sharing this video with other curious minds. Your support truly goes a long way, helping others find and enjoy these adventures through space. I am also forever grateful for the support from this community, and I appreciate you all. I would also love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you would like to join me on more adventures soon, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on our future journeys. Thanks again. Until next time, take care and be well.